So, welcome to Steelfest 2017. Here we are in the evening time in a locker room in some peculiar place. But we have a very special guest, enthroned from Belgium. Welcome. Please state your name, sir. No one, I guess, lead vocalist and guitar player of Enthroned. You've been in the band for ages, but even you are not anymore the original member, am I right? Yeah, at a few months close, yeah. Like I joined the band in uh, uh, oh, oh, nine, early 95, end of 94. So you've done a long career. What does it mean to be enthroned after 25 years? Well, uh, nothing different actually, uh, except for the longevity maybe, but uh, we just have the, still the same mentality, the same uh, goals, the same why we are here, and why we created that band. So, you know, nothing changed as far as I'm concerned, personally. What about lyrics and creating music? Has that changed throughout the years or are you still the kid inside? No, 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 no. Things have became became way more serious. Uh, the, the the original idea of the, for why we formed this band is still the same, like uh, mix the beliefs with that uh, extreme form of music. But uh, well, we are adults uh, uh, for quite a <laughs> few years now, so um, yeah, it's more like about our beliefs than uh, the gimmick and um, you know the confusion and darkness we had when we were young. Now it's really something serious, like for the last years it's what we act, actually me live day by day, every day of my life. So that's a big change and the music of course reflects that. So how does adult life compare to when we were 18 or 20s or something, how does that affect creating music and creating those lyrics? Well you have more, um, uh, you see everything more from uh, the back, you have a more general view. Um, because before it was like, uh, yeah, we're gonna do like I'm angry, I'm, uh, you know. Uh, but um, since uh, I'm 20, 25, something like that, uh, it's more like about uh, translating the feelings into sound. And uh, lyrics, of course, a reflection of the lyrics. So that's uh, another thing, and we evolved as musicians as well through the years, which is normal. So we have more rational and more like a mature view of uh, the whole thing. So you have a, had a quite a few lineups as well during the years. Um, what about this new lineup compared to the previous ones? Is this the best enthroned ever or...? Well, you can always say the last lineup is always the best one ever. <laughs> you know, except for the bass player, I think everybody's pretty cool in the band, you know? <laughs> no, but we have a good chemistry. But uh, if whatever one day somebody wants to leave, well, he wants to leave. We are really respectful for the decisions of everybody. And we prefer that the person leaves than uh, stay and feel trapped. You know, that has always been like that, uh, except that in a few circumstances, we had to just take the decision for other people because uh, it was other reasons, like getting a bit, uh, and that's something in Enthrone we don't accept. Like people who get uh, really cocky and for no reason, it's not because you sell albums that you have to be a dick. You, know? you just have to be a dick. <laughs> you, you are going to be a dick or not, but you're going to be... Uh... I'm definitely a dick. Ex exactly. Okay, being a dick is uh, being your main job as a boss in the band. Yeah. But how do, how do you uh, choose the people that can actually play in Enthrone? For example, uh, is, is reading the lyrics true and uh, accepting the message like uh, one of the requirements to play in a band or is it more about music i'm not i'm not Jon nerdweight like um all respect towards him but um at least i want people to agree with what we stand for otherwise i don't see the point of that person being in the band uh mm -hmm. if they share the same belief that's a plus for me i like to know the people before i ask them to join uh, they have to be okay, fellow as a musicians uh, especially in the mentality and the spirit so for me, it's, I'm not a complicated person, but it, there must be a logic behind everything. Otherwise, it's fake, it's plastic, and I don't want that for Enthroned. You mentioned message of the band. What it would be if you had to put it in like one or two sentences? Well, my or, or our experiences uh, and the vision through the occult. Uh, in the past, we limited ourselves to Satanism because we were just novices, but uh, as we grew up, of course, you learn more, but uh, that's what we want to spread, something that is authentic, what we are, and not what uh, people want to hear or what is to be done to fit in. 
What? Because that's just plastic to me, and I don't want to be a part of that. What do you seek in the occult arts or occultism in general? Eternal ascent, as far as I'm concerned. There's no deeper or meaning you want to share with us? That's something I share with people like-minded. All right. So what about other bands uh, in that sort of area? For, for example, religious black metal or occult death metal, black metal, stuff like that. Do you have a kind of a same mindset? Do you exchange knowledge or ideas or like, or like tips, what books to read or rituals to be well, done? Or? Well, it's not something necessarily in the metal, black metal scene. Actually, it's, it's really mi minor, a uh, small part of the people I know and share those things. Uh, most of the people I share, or like uh, we talk about this, or like we exchange, or like you explained, have nothing to do with uh, the scene. There are some, of course, here and there, like in everywhere. But uh, yeah, there's a like a guy I'm, I'm dealing with those things, and he's just like a local fireman, you know, and this has nothing to do with metal. He's listening to uh, techno, I'm not uh, <laughs> music, you know. You know, it's not about what you're listening to. It's uh, what your mind is about, what you stand for. So what about bands in the, let's say, more in or less in the same genre? Do you have a kind of kinship towards them or are you just a lone wolf type of guys? I don't know. Like, yeah, I have uh, I had some connections uh, with uh, members of Funeral Winds, for example, from uh, Holland, Belgium, uh, from uh, Funeral Mist, uh, Ariok. And uh, yeah, there's a few people like the guys of Nightbringer as well. But uh, we, we have we exchange members all the time, so it's a bit normal. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a few people like that uh, as well, Antheus. We build from some from Antheus and stuff. Uh, but as I said, it's uh, yeah, it depends the persons. It's uh, something chemical between the persons and not band alike or related for me. All right. Do you think there is a more or less kind of uh, same kind of atmosphere when it comes to people in the uh, central part of Europe? Europe. I mean, you mentioned uh, Netherlands and, and obviously Belgium, France and stuff. Do you have more or same mindset there than other parts of Europe? Or No, I'm an alien. <laughs> no, but uh, we are all individuals, you know, like, uh, um, and we surprise ourselves to have uh, to be so different from one another. Uh, People, okay, you have the mentalities in some countries which are totally different, you know, here and there. But um, it's funny to see how we have uh, some totally different people with different backgrounds, different uh, cultures, feeling the same, exactly the same things through the occult, through uh, spirituality, or through kinship, like that all over the world. Yeah. So it has nothing to do with uh, the culture or anything, I think. Because, uh, yeah, I have friends as well uh, in, in uh, Thailand in Brazil, in Colombia, in uh, Egypt, in Russia, and in Finland, uh, even if they're a bit more silly than anywhere else. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, yeah, we find uh, the same kind of common ground on, on that matter, and then of course it develops into friendship uh, eventually, but nothing to do especially with the region or the area of Europe or anything. All right. Belgium is one of the kind of most democratic countries in Europe, I think, uh, but you sure must have some political winds going back and forth, like you know, like right wing versus left wing, and these kind of uh, interference with the metal music, like shows getting cancelled and stuff like that. Have you ever suffered from those kind of accusations or cancelled shows or? In Belgium, never. Uh, regarding that, no. They just go to the roots of the problem in Belgium. They just kill the art purely and simply. It's the only country that doesn't support their local, uh, their their bands uh, or artists. Uh, before you had um, their artist uh, statues, like uh, like in every country, like uh, the the government uh, support you if you're if you're an artist. Uh, the the new government uh, just cancel uh, that purely and simply, and then if they ki they they catch you like playing a gig and you don't pay a tax on uh, the gig you play, uh, you have a sanctions. So yeah, you can lose your job and any indemnity, for example. So does it mean that you're in a captivity of uh, Belgium bureaucracy? I just went uh, freelance. <laughs> they cannot do anything about it. I'm a graphic designer, so I put everything in the account of my fucking company. All so right. and it's legal, so cannot do anything. All right. So, what are the expectations? What are we gonna have here in Finland and other shows you are going to perform uh, during the next few weeks or months? Well, what is what does Enthrone had in his pocket? Well, these are, these are the last shows, actually, for uh, the previous album, Sovereigns. And then uh, this summer, we're going to start uh, really working uh, more on the new album. 
and we'll see where that leads us. But uh, the shows here are, uh, are one of the last ones, let's say, for sovereigns. And um, I will see. Just um, we don't have lots of things. It's just us, and we give uh, all what we get. We have. What do you expect from the the new album to come out? Oh, that's a good question. I would like to know myself. <laughs> no songs ready yet? Uh, yeah, but um, we're still working on it. And uh, we're looking for a new record company as well. All right. What would be your words uh, to the audience to say, if, if someone was interested in Enthroned, but for some weird reason never has heard you before, to go see you live, to pick an album, or what is the starting point to check you out? See us live and check the last albums. Just the last albums? The four last albums. <laughs> to have an objective opinion. Because before we had another vocalist and different members. I don't deny or, deny or, or whatever those albums. Absolutely not. But um, if you want to have an idea of what Enthroned stay, stand for now, it's logical to check the last albums. Um, the next one will be probably a bit more different, but I don't want to say too much about it yet. All right. Any uh, last words before you go to spread your occult message? Well, thanks for the interview, and uh, we'll see how this uh, Finnish bastards are doing. Yeah. W want to try the sauna? Oh, definitely, man. That is good. That is good. good Thank you very much for the interview, and I hope you have a fine evening. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. This is all from the Steelfest 2017. Stay tuned for more shit to come on your way.